Hi there, and welcome to this web lecture on social psychology. Did you know that there is a so-called ABC of intergroup relationships? Do you know why prejudice exists? My name is Peter Ruiten, and today we will be talking about prejudice and intergroup relations. This web lecture will be split up in three different parts. In the first part, I will explain what the ABC of intergroup relationships refers to. In the second part, I will explain why prejudice exists along a number of different theories. And finally, I will explain the impact of prejudice on people's lives and their behavior. When we think about intergroup relationships, it is important to realize that our human mind naturally sorts all kinds of objects into groups. This means that we also do this to people. When we sort people in different groups based on their group membership, we call this social categorization. The ABC of intergroup relationships stands for the affective, behavioral and cognitive components of intergroup relationships. The affective component is prejudice, which is a negative feeling towards an individual based only on his group membership. The behavioral component is discrimination, which is an unequal treatment of people based on the group to which they belong. Finally, the cognitive component is stereotyping, which is having beliefs that associates groups of people with certain traits. Several theories can explain why prejudice exists. And some of these theories are based on groups or group membership. The first of these is in-group favoritism. This means that we tend to have positive attitudes towards people of our own group and negative attitudes towards people who belong to different groups. A special case of this is the minimal group effect. This means that in-group favoritism already happens when group membership is assigned randomly. Realistic conflict theory means that when we are fighting or competing for scarce resources, we are more likely to be prejudiced against people of different groups. In addition to uh, theories that are based on group membership, some theories are also based on individuals. One of these is the contact hypothesis. The contact hypothesis states that if we do not get in touch or in contact with people that belong to different groups, we are more likely to be prejudiced against those people. Scapegoat theory states that we tend to blame problems on others uh, and therefore we try to find a scapegoat which makes it more likely that we are prejudiced against people from different groups. Finally, all people tend to have a self-serving bias. This means that we attribute our successes to ourselves while we attribute failure to other people. When we think about the impact of prejudice or how it can influence our lives or our behavior, several theories can explain this. One of the most well-known one is the self-fulfilling prophecy or a prediction that makes itself come true. We tend to behave in ways um, that make us more likely um, for this prediction to come true. A special case of this is stereotype threat. This means that people tend to have a fear for conforming with negative stereotypes. To sum up this web lecture, I have showed you the um, ABC of intergroup relationships. I have explained why prejudice exists. And finally, I have showed a few theories that explain uh, the impact that prejudice can have on people's lives. That was all for today. Thank you for listening and hope to see you again soon.